excited about my torch. This is to use with my encaustic paintings. There's just something missing. It needs a can of butane that has to fit this little hole properly. And I don't have a can of butane. And I had a deadline of Valentine's Day. Go figure. Hi, Jason. Hi, Kim. I'm glad you guys like it. I had this deadline and I had no torch. Andy says, hey, how about you try the cigar shop in Homestead? Okay. So I go to the cigar shop and I get this. This is a little cigar lighter. And I am going to show you why we need it in encaustics. So I figure, hey, you know, this might actually be a good travel toy. I'll show you why I use it. This is an encaustic painting I've been working on for a while. Now, I could use the big gun to seal the paint. Just one problem. The big gun blows a lot of hot air. Hot air blown around makes all this wax move, and that might not be what I want. Sometimes you want it to move, sometimes you don't. That's where this little gizmo comes in. Now, I have a respect for fire, which is kind of funny because I'm actually working with melted beeswax, which means I'm working with heat. And this little gizmo, thank goodness, is automatic because otherwise I wouldn't be using it at all. Notice that the painting is on a metal surface, so if I get some flame on the metal, no big deal. So here we go. Notice it's just bring whatever wherever it shines up, it's actually sealing the paint. It's not moving the paint around, it's just sealing it. Isn't that cool? And that is why we need a butane torch. Ta-da! Otherwise known as a creme brulee. But it would help if it had the canister on it. Special thanks to Havana Humidor of Homestead for setting me up with this cool little gadget in the meantime. And while I go look for a can that fits on this, ta-da! Crambouillet torch.